Our five-day win streak on the Power Five came to an end yesterday, just two and three overall. Nailed both props in the NFL game. If you're a client, sadly, I did lose the under on Bengals-Ravens. Can't apologize enough for that one. Looked good for a half, looked good for three quarters, but then the fourth quarter happened. Uh, been a tough stretch, no doubt. But here on the show, okay, here on the Power Five, we are on a 21-8-1 and one run the last six days. And a 204, 170, and 12 long term run with these free plays. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying them. Today, I've got some college football, NBA, and college basketball for you. As a reminder, you can always comment down below and share your thoughts on these selections. Always enjoy the feedback. So here we go. Number one, Rice plus eight at Memphis. We definitely are not getting the best of the number anymore as Rice has already taken money. The Owls. They got the old new coach bump last week, upsetting Navy 24-10 as 13-point underdogs. Their first game after firing Mike Bloomgren. That game featured a long weather delay, which was odd because the game across town in Houston was finished in a much more reasonable fashion. Anyway, if you were a client of mine, you won with the under in that Rice-Navy matchup. I beat the closing number by several points, and the game stayed under by more than two touchdowns. As for Memphis, if you caught my appearance last week, on Wager Talk TV uh, with Prez and Steve Merrill, I said to fade Memphis at UTSA. Sure enough, the Tigers lose outright in that game. So we've got an underdog here, off an outright win, and a favorite off an outright loss. Normally, I might say that this is a buy low slash sell high spot. Here's the thing, though. Memphis, for a 7-2 and two team, guys, has not been particularly impressive. They have one score wins over Florida State, North Texas, and Charlotte. Four of Rice's last five games have been decided by seven points or less. The Owls, they've got the better yards per play differential this season and face a tougher schedule. I just think this is going to be a close game. Take the points. How about the fact the over is a perfect 8-0 in Iowa games this season when the Hawkeyes are favored? Who would have thought? Now, I don't want to lay 6.5 on the road tonight at UCLA, but I will play Iowa team total over 26.5. You can find that number, my, juice to minus 115 at DraftKings. Guys, the bottom line is this. The Hawkeyes have scored 31 or more points seven times this season. They've scored 40 or more each of their last three victories. I know this is a road game out west, and UCLA has been a bit better of late. But if Rutgers can score 32 against this Bruins defense, then so can Iowa whose offense has looked a lot sharper with Sullivan at the helm. So our second college football play on the show today, Iowa team total over. Just a quick note, my top college football play for Friday is currently available on my page, wt.buzz slash bp. It is a total as we look to bounce back from last night's over-under loss in the NFL. I think we're going to have a lot better success with this one. Remember, number one in college football this season at Wager Talk. Let's now go to the NBA We've got a doubleheader tonight on ESPN. I'm going to give you plays on both games. Phoenix at Dallas is up first. This is an interesting matchup. The Suns are 7-1 and one straight up with six straight victories. But they're only 2-6 and six against the spread, not winning by margin, obviously. And they're underdogs here to a revenge-minded Mavericks team that they beat 114-102 back on October 26th. That game was in Phoenix. I'm really not interested in playing either side tonight, but I do like the under. The total for tonight has been bet up to 232 and a half, and that seems high, given that these teams only scored 216 in that last meeting, and that was with Luka dropping 40 and Durant scoring 31. Furthermore, only three Phoenix games all season have gone over this number of 232 and a half. Only two Dallas games have gone over 232 and a half. We're talking two of the top 10 teams in defensive efficiency as well, so under would be my play here. Maybe even wait and see how high this number gets bet up. Second game of the doubleheader is the Sixers and Lakers. Mark Zinno and I talked about this one on the morning wager. Give me the points with Philadelphia here. I know they're shorthanded at the moment. Paul George is still out there, though, and the Lakers have not beaten anyone by more than seven points all season. Also, this is going to be the Lakers' first game back home following a five-game road trip. It's usually a tricky spot in this league. Philadelphia, who, if you recall, I faded Wednesday night in LA against the Clippers here on the Power 5. You got that play for free. Uh, well, they fell victim in that game to the Sixers to hot shooting from the opposition. The Clippers shot 70% from the field in the third quarter. I don't see the Lakers doing anything like that tonight. Consider this. LeBron had season highs in made field goals and attempted field goals against the Grizzlies the other night. And the Lakers still lost by double digits. Again, 
We just need Philly to keep it close. Take them plus eight. Shop around for the best number. All right, we're now going to wrap up the Power Five with a deep cut in college basketball, and that is Bowling Green plus four and a half at home versus Davidson. Davidson won their season opener, but it was against a non-D1 team, William Peace. Meanwhile, BG, they had to travel to face Southern Miss. Falcons lose 77-68. But I like the influx of talent here that they got from Division II schools, from junior colleges, a lot of key transfers. Remember, BG was a 20-win team last season. Davidson, meanwhile, they ended last season on a six-game straight-up losing streak. So it has been a long time since the Wildcats have beaten a D1 opponent. They have question marks at point guard entering the season. I would not want to lay points with this team on the road. BG plus four and a half is the call there. We now will take a minute to recap today's Power Five. Number one in college football, Rice plus eight at Memphis. Sticking in college football, we like Iowa over its team total, 26 and a half. NBA, Phoenix, Dallas under 232 and a half. Lakers, do not lay the points with them. We like the Sixers plus eight against the Lakers. And then in college basketball, Bowling Green, plus four and a half at home versus Davidson. Again, feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on those selections. Any questions you may have on Friday's card, a game that you're interested in, that you'd I, I'll check the comments, get back to you. Also, let me know what you're betting on Friday as well. Always enjoy seeing that. And after you've smashed that like button, head on over to wt.buzz slash bp. Like I said, been a tough three weeks with the client selections, but still number one for this season in college football at Wager Talk. 45 and 22, my last 67 college football bets going back to last year, plus 75.4 units. Not only are we number one this season in college football, number one the last 365 days. Nine and two run with plays rated 4% or higher. As I already mentioned, I have a total for Friday. Also, going to have four plays on tap for Saturday. That complete card, which will be available for just $29 will be available later this afternoon. I'd also implore you to try a three-day all-access pass where you'll get all of my college, all of my NFL, any other sports I release, basketball, soccer, for just $69. And you're going to want to be on the lookout for Saturday's edition of the Power Five where I'll be talking about some of the biggest college football matchups of the weekend. That should drop by this evening. But that's going to do it for Friday's edition here of the Power Five. I hope you enjoyed the show. Smash that like button if you did. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.